Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's the Puro Mom again with the Two Toy Puros. So in this video, we are going to be tackling the truth about socialization or puppy socialization, dog socialization. If you guys are interested in that, then please keep on watching. If you will like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and maybe share the video as it would really help the channel. Also, if you want to see more content like this in the near future, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. All right, let's dive into it. Before I got summer, I was honestly quite confused as to what socialization means. I took it literally. Socialization meaning getting them to meet other people or other dogs, etc. Well, that's true. It's one of the things that you have to do for your dogs. What I learned over the years is that socialization doesn't necessarily just mean the literal meaning. It means something more than that. What I learned is that socialization is basically socializing your dogs not just to other dogs or other people but also the environment or the place where they're going to live in. Things, objects, for example, cars or grooming tools, etc. It's basically getting your dogs used to the things that they need to get used to as they assimilate their lives into your own lives or your home. You can socialize them to grooming tools as early as, you know, as soon as they get home or you can socialize them to the car because some dogs are scared of cars. Anything that you can possibly think of that they could be afraid of or could cause some problems in the near future, you have to start socializing your dogs to them. We often get this question in most of our social media channels. Should I wait until the shots are complete before I start socializing my dog or at what age, etc. So if you mean to socialize, meaning face to face or getting them to meet other dogs literally and physically, then I suggest that you wait until their shots are complete before you actually do that. Honestly, for me, I don't think there is a specific age that is necessary for you to start socializing your dogs. Regardless of whether they're puppies or whether they're adults, you can still socialize them and reset their brains to get them used to whatever it is that they have to get used to in order to fit into your own lifestyle. For puppies, there is a peak age where they say it's best to socialize them. That's from 8 to 12 weeks, if I'm not mistaken. But don't fret if you don't think you're going to be able to meet that deadline. It's not set in stone. For example, my dogs. <laughs> of course, the first year wasn't perfect. I wasn't exactly the best trainer out there. I don't know how to formally train dogs whatsoever. I haven't enrolled them to any schools and stuff. I was just starting out when I got the girls. And of course, I made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> That's a given. And so when I enrolled them to my trainer, I started bawling my eyes out because of all the mistakes that I learned that he told me that I shouldn't have done and stuff. And I thought it was the end of the world. And what he taught me is that if you think that it's too late, it's not. You can always, always socialize your dog. Don't worry about it. If you make mistakes, and you will make mistakes, don't worry. It's fine. You will be fine. Keep making mistakes. Just keep erasing the bad memory and replace them with good ones. So how do you socialize your dogs? Honestly, I don't think there is one set way to do things. But what I did was I listed down the things that were issues back when I had my first dog, Sam, the Chihuahua. So after listing them down, I prioritized into which ones I could work out first. And then what I did was, or what my trainer suggested to do, was to make each activity positive. And I started as soon as I can. So for Bailey and Summer, I started when they were around one a year. So that's already beyond the supposed 8 to 12 weeks of age. And quite frankly, I did not know about those things before. So for example, desensitizing them to, let's say, the nail clippers. My mistake was that I got these and then I just tried to move it slowly closer to the dog and then started to clip. That is not socializing the object to your dog. So what you can do or what I suggest you to do is to get the object and then just leave it beside them wherever you are if they're really really scared of them it really depends on the dog if they're okay with it being close to them right away meaning it's touching them and they tolerate it then you can start from there but if it's uh, if the dog is really scared about everything perfect example Bailey I would have to just leave it closer to them or right beside them and then I start playing with her I start giving her treats and make the experience positive once she was okay with that, then I move it a step further. I start getting the object and then touching it on her fur, touching it on her head. When she doesn't flinch, I reward her. Or when she tolerates it, I reward her with either play or treat until she doesn't mind it anymore and we can just practically do whatever with it. Once she starts getting used to that, I start moving it further 
down by moving it close to where the object will need to touch. For example, the nail. So I start moving it closer. But again, I don't clip the nail right away. I move it away and then reward. And then I move it closer again. And then if she doesn't flinch, then I give her a reward and then I move it away. Do that same routine. And then eventually I start opening it and then try to tug a little without actually clipping and then move it away. Eventually your dog will get used to their routine until they will allow you that to, for you to actually clip the nail. Just be extra careful not to clip too short because there is a nerve there and please study where you can cut the nail because if you cut it too close to the nerve, it will bleed. So be careful and once it bleeds, it may hurt your dog and it may turn into something negative instead of something positive and they will get scared of it. Again, you will make mistakes and it, it is okay. Just make sure to end anything negative with something positive. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and we'll see you again next time. I hope that helped. Bye!